Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here, and I just want to tell you about a great campaign that the Libertarian Party has going on right now, Larry Sharp for Governor of New York. Now, I got to meet Larry last year at the National Convention in Orlando, and he was running for the party's vice presidential nomination. Great candidate, great job. Fellow former Marine, as you could tell from the matching stupid looks on both of our faces, I'm sorry, that joke just never gets old to me, but whatever. I just saw a video from Larry Sharp, very exciting, that his campaign is doing well, but especially for me, very exciting to see that he's bringing a strong anti-war message to the forefront. I know it's not as relevant with the gubernatorial race, but he had a t-shirt on in his video today that said, support the troops, bring them home, help them heal. And I'm like, yes, that's, that's, hey, Iraq veterans against the war, that's what we were talking about. 10 years ago and it's awesome to see that now that message has got uh, you know a life of its own in the way that people are talking about this and as uh, I'm sure Larry knows the American founders were very much against militarism itself they were against a standing army and I just want to share like one one piece of great news with the uh, Kokesh 2020 campaign and this of course we're on the uh, not campaign excuse me Thank you, Ben, the our not campaign manager here watching over my shoulder. Um, well, we have uh, a 68 city tour that we're in the middle of right now. It's been a blast so far. And just a couple days ago in Chicago, not going to name names, but we met an active duty uh, female police officer who's uh, really excited about this platform. And um, she actually signed the trailer over there with her badge number. So if you if you want to come and see us on this tour and see the Freedom Mobile, if you're lucky, you might have a chance to sign it after one of our events. You can see her signature there on the wall with her badge number. And she was as, as much as she was excited about the message itself, she had some apprehensions about the police role in a stateless society or a decentralized government society. Because when we talk about stateless, we could still have, you know, community-based government, local government, the sort of Hans Hermann Hoppe, you know, enclave concept of a libertarian social order. You can still have people come together in, you know, city states and, and things like that, right? So like in this ideal social order that we present based on the non-aggression principle, based on voluntarism, based on self-ownership, that uh, what do we want for the police? I mean, it's it's not like the military. They actually provide, you know, obvious, direct, legitimate public safety services to real people. We want that, right? We want that to happen. We just don't want politicians in between the police and the people, right? And she was like, okay, got it. Makes sense. I can get behind that. And that's so critical uh, as a way of making this message absolutely clear that what we are doing as libertarians is applying our principles to make life better for everyone immediately. And that's why I'm excited to see Larry Sharp and so many other down ticket candidates embracing, even when it's not immediately relevant to their campaigns, such a strong anti-war and anti-militarism message because it really gets at the core of the evils of government, the violence that is done in its behalf. And the founders of this country were completely against the idea of a standing army. Now we don't just have a standing army in the U.S. military. BLM, I mean, if you're familiar with the Bundy Ranch case, um, the IRS, uh, even the Department of Education, right? They have SWAT teams now. Like, no, we are surrounded by the standing army of the United States federal government, which, by the way, uh, is actually only a small part of the totality of government in the United States. It's uh, about 3 million personnel out of about 22 something million personnel that make up all federal, state, and local government employees in the United States. So getting rid of the federal government is really getting rid of the small, nasty, violent, really wasteful, destructive, corrupt layer of government. And this is where this idea of militarism needs to be understood. It's just like if we want cops to be able to serve their communities without politicians in the way, similarly, we want the people who are willing to risk their lives in defense of a people against foreign invasion to be able to do so in a way that directly serves the people without the corruptions of the military industrial complex that President Eisenhower warned us about in his farewell address. So this is why the message that's in line with this militarism, the only message really, is to dissolve the United States 
entire federal government, including the U.S. military, turning over some resources to the states, de-weaponizing some of those greater resources that are clearly not defensive in their purposes. And, you know, as Admiral Yamamoto said in World War II, the reason they didn't invade the mainland is that they would find a rifle behind every blade of, gra of grass. And I, I know that Larry Sharp is a proponent of gun rights, and of course, he knows that the greatest defense against any invasion is a well-armed population that refuses to be governed by anyone. So, Larry, thanks for getting that anti-war message out front. Really appreciate that. And uh, I, I hope that we'll see a lot more people get on board with this. And then, as a result, be able to embrace a principled message for the Libertarian Party at the national level, which, of course, is... We're going to throw the ring in the fire. That's the only ethical answer. We're going to dissolve the entire United States federal government. And it's really exciting now to see so many more people getting on board with this. We've actually got a few... Uh, I know Ben's like, Adam, you gotta, this, is why, this is why he's sitting here. No, you can't say that. Um, I, can't, I can't name names at this point for sure. But we've, we've had some people reach out to us about wanting to be our running mates in this campaign. That there are people who are like, yeah... Adam, this is a revolutionary platform, and of course, we know it's evolutionary more than revolutionary, but this is the only ethical libertarian platform possible for the presidency, which is to get rid of the presidency entirely. Personally, I don't think there's anything more unlibertarian than saying, I want to be president of the United States, and that's why I'm going to be the last president you'll never need. Thank you very much. Peace, love, and freedom.